How's it going guys? Lucas here. Let me introduce you to the new tool to the LPT Toolkit family, which is the Grow tool. And for now it's a quite simple tool, but it's a lot of fun and I think you can create some cool motion design stuff with it and maybe even more uh, use it however you want to use it. Um, what you need to do is you need to have a geometry where to grow on pretty much. For example, let me take this grid that I have here. And then you need some ge geometry that represents the hat of the flower or whatever you want to grow, pretty much. So let me, for example, pick the cube. You can see already I scattered some cubes. Um, you can do less, you can do more. Um, I will go with a thousand for now as the default. You have a start frame because inside here there's um, a pop simulation going on. Then you have a minimum age and the maximum age. That's how long the, the, the stems should grow before they stop. Um, you have very limited noise things at the moment. I will introduce more and I will also open up the uh, force fields or the pop forces like uh, on Splashy. So you can use more of that. But of course you can also open the asset and just add them yourself. Um, then we have like width, uh, width and scale options in here, but let me show you, show you those after the simulation. So if I hit play now, you can see I have some growing things here. Uh, you can of course mess, mess uh, with the noise and I don't know, either change the amplitude or the scale, for example, like the swirl size like this. And yeah, you can see you can get some cool things. I like 10 a lot because at least at this scale, it makes it, gives it a nice, nice shape. Um, what you can do then is you can, of course, you have a, a, a width ramp here where you can like thicken and thinen the pieces. Um, to actually see those strands, you should go to your object level, go to the MISC tab and activate shade, open curves in viewport. Because otherwise you will still see them, but you won't see like the thickness and that uh, enables you to see the thickness in viewport already. Otherwise you will just see it in render. So yeah, you can scale that. You also have like a multiplier up here um, that can adjust that as well. And then of course you have the object scale, which is the tip scale here. Um, again, you have like a min and max, which is just randomizing between the IDs pretty much and a general scale. Um, another option you have in here is that you can actually plug in multiple objects. Um, for example, the cube and the sphere, I just plug them in. You can see I have different tips now. You can do as many as you want. Um, let me also add the pick hat maybe in here. You can see uh, also we also have a pick hat now. That even works after simulation, so you don't have to hit re-simulate uh, to do this. This works straight away. You can see it gets a bit slower though, because of course it needs to display more instances now or different instances. Um, yeah, so to prototype, I would suggest using simple geo or a simple sphere as a primitive even, and then it works quite fast. Okay, let me also show you the three export options we have. The first one is the one we, we see here, which is, I call it the proxy. Um, but you can definitely use it for render if you use like the width as an attribute to render uh, as hairs or something like that, that works for, for sure. Um, then we also have the option to only see the, the tips or the hats. And then we also have an option to only see the tubes, which are in this case just black. Not sure why exactly, but you can see this is pretty much a meshed version for it for, I don't know, any renders that don't support um, rendering hairs or converting those curves into tubes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the new tool. Uh, use it for whatever. You can also, of course, plug in different geo here to grow on. 
the pig head, for example. And it always grows into like a normal direction. So if we don't apply any noise, um, you can see it just goes first like straight, straight outside pretty much. Let me make the object scale a bit smaller and the width a bit smaller so you can see a bit better. And yeah, you can see it just grows outwards. Uh, can be cool as well, I don't know. Uh, draw your own stuff, use it to your own likings and let me know what you think about it. Bye.